Oh, that's okay, because I have my usual disclaimer. I f record this in my living room, in which there's a lot of traffic. I also live with two dogs, three cats, one lizard, two human beings, so there are bound to be fucking noises. Just deal with it. It's how it is. So today's video is... Technically, I had already recorded it, but I kind of fudged it up. I want to re-record it. So this is kind of a goals video. It's... A lot of people do like 2023 reading goals for the year, whatever. And yeah, most of these are reading goals, but I also have a few like personal goals, home goals, just things to put out there for the new year coming soon as Ryan grabs a beer and is so fucking done with everything today. <laughs> All right, so before getting into the book ones, I actually want to go into like the more like life goals. Um, we are still living in a house that needs a bit of work done. Um, it's 100% livable. It's just little things that kind of would improve the overall value of the house. And also like some things that, you know, it's not great the way it is right now. And the first one is um, the siding, the outside siding of our house. It's quite old. And when we first moved in, there was on this wall, that's literally right here, there was a hole in the outside siding that was started by carpenter bees, we think. And then it was continued by the local squirrels. And in that hole, when we finally redid the siding, because we were like, that's a problem. In that hole was a dead bird, I believe. And a living squirrel. And a living squirrel. Whom I so. Fought. Whom I fought. Multiple. Yes, whom Ryan fought. Um, so anyways, we need to, we did that side, this wall, but now the big long like front facing wall, like the street facing wall needs to get done. And then especially our one that's right by the kitchen because we do have issues with wasp nests that are happening. Just general problems. So that's kind of a goal for when it gets warmer out is to do the siding and we're hoping that we'll have some family and friends to come and help us do it because it's not really so much that it is expensive. It's really not because the siding we chose, it's on the least expensive side of things that you can get and Ryan can put it up and it's fairly easy to put up, but it's just that it's a lot of work and it's time consuming. So we're definitely gonna have to dedicate some time to that. Then the other thing is our bathroom. So once again, this house, when we got it, it was a foreclosed house. And the first thing that we tackled was the bathroom, but we were very low budget and we were kind of on a time crunch to move in. So the way that we redid the bathroom was very rushed and it has come down to, we tried something, we thought it would work and it hasn't been the best because, well, we put these sticky tile things and they have been unsticking and now there's most likely mildew growing under there and just mold in general. And we're probably going to put in like one of those full shower bathroom, bathtub things, like where there's the whole wall to the bath. I'll put a picture if I find one. Because um, someone has 16 bath bombs they can't use. I do. That's true. I had like a bunch of subscription boxes from like, uh, what the fuck is it called? I forgot what it was called, but a bunch of different subscription boxes and they would send like bath bombs and stuff. And they tell you you can use them as shower steamers, but it's clearly not as good. Um, so I have a bunch of stuff that I just can't use and... It's not just that too. It's the fact that like we have dogs, it's a lot easier to bathe dogs in a bathtub. Also, sometimes just a relaxing bath can feel really good. So we're working on it. Those are the two like home life things that are part of my goals for next year. Although they're also now technically part of Ryan's goals because there ain't no fucking way I can do siding in a bathroom on my own. Um, then some other like little minute goals that I have for myself. One of which is to walk my dogs more often because I really don't walk them a lot. We have a big backyard, so it's not like they're lacking in exercise. Like it's good for me too, and I really should do it more. And I'm gonna put myself a goal of like at least once a week to walk them, at least my dog, maybe not babe because babe's getting older and she's technically not, not my dog. But yes, that's also part of my goals is to walk them once a week. Another one is the bearded dragon. The bearded dragon loves his tank very much. He doesn't really necessarily like being taken out, but I feel like he should be taken out more. So I'm also going to try and at least once a week take him out, whether it's to put him in the windowsill or to put him at my computer when I'm playing or editing or something, is just to have him out for a little bit. It doesn't have to be a long period of time. I think Ryan just went to go get the bearded dragon in question. So I think he's about to help me accomplish one of those goals. 
<laughs> yes, he did. He's shedding though. He's fine. And you gave him a bath already. I feel like he already got his quota. Here he is. Here's the little lizard boy. His name is Littlefoot. I know I say the bearded dragon, but his name is Littlefoot. Or Mr. Poopy Butt. Here, get a better look at him. He's gonna jump. Um, yes, so he does need to be taken more often, and that is another goal that I have. And I think for the pets, that's kind of the only ones that I have. I mean, then there's general cleanliness ones that I need to do, which is keep up with cleaning the house more often, like running the Roomba, emptying the cat litter box more, since now I have three cats. Um, but yes, let's get into the book ones now, the ones that maybe people are a little more interested in. So last year, I made a book journal, and I mean, I was pretty proud of it at the time when I made it, but I'm a lot happier with the one that I have now. But I did put some goals in here, I think. Maybe it was the old one. I started one and I didn't like it, and then I started this one. Yes, I had some reading goals. So my first reading goal was to read five books by V.E. Schwab, and I accomplished that. Um, I read her middle grade trilogy, the Cassidy Blake books, which they were great. I read her extraordinary comic book, and then I read The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue, and I believe I read another book too that was by her, maybe? I don't know, maybe it was just a full five books. I had also my general like books to be read in the year was 70 books, and I blew that out of the fucking water, and I did not think I would. I've read, probably right now, I've read 95 books this year, but I would like to point out that a lot of it was manga as well, which are a lot easier to get through, a lot faster to get through. And I do not believe next year I'm going to read as many manga, although I don't know, could change, who knows. I'm a very impromptu person. Uh, another goal was to reread the Underland Chronicles. I did that. I, I'm so glad that I did that, and I'm probably going to reread them again. I did post up a video of like m my experience rereading the books again and I asked if people would want read-alongs. I had one person say that they would love read-alongs so I'm gonna do it. That's all I needed was one person. Another goal was to continue the Murderbot Diaries. I did that. I only have two more books in the Murderbot Diaries that I need to finish and I think that's one of my new goals for 2023. Read the Greenbone Saga or the Poppy War Trilogy. I read the Poppy War Trilogy, so I did fulfill that goal. Read book two in the Lycanius Trilogy. So this one's technically a fail but also a success because it's right here and I did start it in December, but I didn't like it and I DNF'd it and I'm pretty sure I'm not going to continue with it. Like I put it up on Instagram and people were like, oh, maybe pause it now, start it again later, but I have zero interest in picking it up. So in a way I have accomplished that goal where I did at least try to read it, but I'm probably not gonna continue with the trilogy, which I'm really sad about because I really like the first book and I'm just, I don't know, I couldn't connect with it. Um, and then the final goal was to read more manga, which I did. So my goals for last year, I, I reached I'm quite happy with myself for doing that. Now, new year, I just dropped something, that's okay. New year, new journal. I'm actually really happy with this one. I decided to go kind of simple with the styling of it because I'm not a very, you know, crafty, adept person. I even have like these little shelves that I'll fill in with the books and I have an idea of how I'm gonna like fill them in, try and make them artsy. Will that work? I don't know. I also have a best book bracket, which I'll talk about like the best of 2022 when I'm actually done with the year because I'm not technically done yet and I like to give every book a chance. All right, my goals for 2023. First off, it is going to be to read 80 books this year. I know that it sounds a little weird since I just said that I read 95 books in 2022, but I really don't think I'm going to be able to read that many in 20. 23 just because again there was a lot of manga also I'm gonna be starting school up again um there was a whole deal with that I'm not gonna go into details but I had to pause my master's degree for a while and now I'm gonna start it up again so who knows how much I'll actually be able to read for myself um but yes the goal will be 80 books we'll see how that goes I want to read the Broken Earth trilogy hopefully to completion but who knows if I like it or not I want to read the Greenbone Saga which was like an option last year as like Greenbone Saga or Poppy War. And now I'm like, nope, we're gonna read the Greenbone Saga because I've heard just so much about them that I'm like, I have to, I have to, I can't ignore it anymore. Finish the Murderbot Diaries is indeed on here. And then the final goal is to read 10 to 15 self-pub books, which at first I was thinking that's gonna be easy peasy, but now I'm thinking, is it though? I, first of all, I have a hard time figuring out when books are self-pub or not because like sometimes they'll go through like it's a publisher but it's like more of like an editor i don't know how to tell when books are self-pub 
if you have, I have like a few people that I like on Instagram that I can go on that I know they read a lot of self pub books. So I can just look at that and see if I'm interested in it. Um, like here's one, I forgot what it's called, but I'll put, put a picture up of it. Um, this is one that I heard. It's a very dark fantasy kind of brutal book. And it's like about orcs and things. It sounds wonderful. I know I'm going to love that one. I hope I love it. Uh, there's also this one called Skin, I think, which is like about Selkies, I believe. And I mean, there was also this book that I started in 2022 and I said I liked it, but it was kind of a romancy book. And I'm like, I don't know if I'll continue it. So I guess I do have a few options for self pub. So yeah. And then I was talking with Lorena on um, Instagram at Lore Book Dreamer. I read the Sword of Kaigen and she, I told her, I was like, I'm interested in reading the other books. But then when I looked at it, I think there were only two other books that are in the Theonite world that the Sword of Kaigen is in. And they are said to like read more young adult. And I don't know, I'm a little worried about it, but Lorena said that she would read them with me. So that might be an option too. So anyways, those are the goals for 2023. I think they're totally manageable, very realistic. I like to give myself goals that I know I can actually accomplish instead of trying to like push myself to do things. And I'm like, I don't know if I'll actually do this, but let's push for it. No, I'm not like that. I need to have fun when I do things. I am very surprised that Littlefoot has actually sat here the whole time. He hasn't even tried to run away. See, I, this has to be a new goal is to take him out more often. <laughs> oh, something else I wanted to say. Because my YouTube channel is kind of like between books, movies, video games and stuff, I also kind of have this little goal for the channel, which is to watch more movies, do like more movie things. Probably not like actually, you know how a lot of people do those movie reactions and there's a the movie plan. I can't do that. I don't know how to fucking do that. That's a lot of editing and I'm not going to do that. But I want to talk more about movies because I like stories. So I just want to share more stories, but also video games. Next year, I'm hoping to, first of all, finish Witcher 3, but I want to be able to finish at least two other games. So a grand total of three games finished in 2023 on my channel. I think that we can do it. Depending on what the games chosen are, I think, I think I can do it. So yeah, stay tuned for that. And if there are any games that you want to vote for, you can go to like my live stream stuff and I put in the description the games that I have and that I want to get to. Or if you have any recommendations, so just put them in the comments and I'll think about it. So yes, anyways, yes, that's it. Let me know what some of your goals are, whatever they are, books, games, movies, life. I love to hear about them and I will catch you in the next video. Bye.